Alright guys, what up? So, back at the track for the Real Street Shootout Daily Driver Class. Um, I keep forgetting I, I haven't been like vlogging like I used to do. It's just been so hot. And today is like one of the worst days too because I worked all last night. I went in at midnight. It is now 5, 5 p.m on the same day but i got up at 11 a.m on saturday to go to work on sunday you know you see what i'm saying so i've been up for quite a while right now um been drinking energy drinks and then hydrating and doing all that stuff because i got a headache um but i'm number one in point so gotta try to defend this might as well I ain't never done nothing like this before so might as well start but anyway um did one pass already um the car felt like it was doing good but it didn't. It's three tenths off from where it normally is. I don't know if it's because of the track conditions or what's going on. The way I'm doing a burnout, I have no idea. I, I mean, I haven't really been able to replicate my fastest pass too often, and I'm not sure what it is that that I need to do to do it. I still, I'm still trying to figure out the car. And each time that I come down here, the conditions are different. It's not as it's not prepped as well or I made a major change that I shouldn't have done. Like, taking out my interior out of my car. I have to show a picture of me doing that. Waste of time made absolutely no difference, just was painful. Um, the car didn't do all that great. And as you see in the last video, um, I mean, it, like I said, it didn't matter, but I still was able to beat the guy. <laughs> I, was, I was racing, I won the last one too. Um, hopefully I can get this one. I, I drew um, a Pontiac G8. Uh, for the most part, it looks pretty stock. I don't think it's really you know much going on. There's a Z06 C6 in the class now. There's a Camaro, and then there's a Pro Charged um, Challenger as well that's in the class. So we'll see how everything goes. I'm gonna let the car cool down. I'm gonna put some ice on the supercharger. That right there is my switch to manually turn on the, the water pump so it can circulate some water. all the other cars that are in it that uh the red c6 is not in the race well not in my class at least so yep we'll see what we can do i'm gonna go up there and see if i can see anything on the line very quick
this on this round, right? Yeah. Okay. So you heard the clutch? Smell it. Nah, I heard it. I heard about it. You saw it right now. You're just your head. So these these are known for like you don't keep the clutch fluid clean. Like they'll stick to the floor. They stick halfway down. And then I just I just bled the fluid in it two days ago. Man. And, uh, oh, you got that warranty. Do we cover no, that? It'll, it'll, because clutch is a wear part. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> it, it, it covers the internal engine. I, yeah. got, I got a clutch at the house. Yeah. But. The, um, I thought this thing had transaxles. I thought the clutch, clutch is still up front, but the transmission is it's in the back. A, it's got a torque, torque tube. tube. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, Makes sense. I, didn't, I, didn't, I saw you go slip. I just saw you this part. I tell you what, I go heads up in your vet. Huh? Go heads up in your vet. See, you know how to do that, dude. You don't. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be able to go heads up with you. We can do it. We can do that. Hey, we can do that. Huh? Hey, yeah, go ahead and bring that out there. I can. We can. We can do it. I can go just as fast as you can in there. Hey, we can. Let's go. No. I ain't got nothing else to do. If I had my other ties on there, I tell you. I ain't got nothing else to do. If I had my other ties on, I'd be sizing over there. That was a fun.